Well, it's hard to believe on a cold morning like this, but spring thaw is coming. And when that happens, property owners start thinking about what's growing on their property. Today, we're out at Island Grove Park in the city of Greeley to talk about ash trees, which we have behind us here. And we have a person from the forestry program, uh, Shiloh Hatchers with us today. And he's gonna talk to us a little bit about emerald ash borer. Can you tell me about our friendly insect? Sure, so thanks for coming out sure. and braving the cold weather um, and giving this uh, a few minutes to talk about this topic, um, super important. So um, emerald ash borer is a non-native insect discovered, non-native insect to the United States, discovered in Michigan um, 2002. And uh, you know we've been concerned about it moving this way since that point. It was discovered in, in Boulder in 2013. Hard to believe, but 10 years after the fact, here we are. Um, you know, so we've been really preparing hard for this um, insect moving into the Greeley area since 2013. So found in Fort Collins in 2020, so it's obviously pretty close. Um, doing tons of damage to ash trees uh, in the Midwest, Northeast, move this way. It's, you know, progressively um, working on trees in Colorado now. So it's something we need to be prepared for because ash trees make up a large percentage of our tree canopy in Greeley and along the Front Range. So that's kind of the history and um, of the insect and why it's important because it, it's going to affect a lot of trees in Greeley. Yeah, absolutely. So what do homeowners need to do? How do they know that they have an ash tree and what, what should they look for? Okay, good questions. Um, so key things, know if you have an ash tree, know what kind of condition your ash tree is in or trees, and then determine, hey, this tree is in good condition. I want to treat this tree to prevent insect damage or the trees in bad condition, I wanna replant it so that I can you know, have shade in my backyard um, and replace that tree. So uh, one thing to do is jump onto our website, really for uh, uh, greeleygov.com slash forestry. There's information there on there about emerald ash borer and um, some programs that we have to help, help deal with it. But that's, that's kind of what we're dealing with is, uh, in our management plan is, know if you have an ash tree let's either treat it or determine the condition so that we can get it replaced now so so when this first broke out um, there was a lot of panic around it because it didn't seem like there were a ton of treatment options but it seems like there's some new things that can be done uh, to help mitigate the pest yep so um, city of Greeley developed a program uh, that residents can tap into. So essentially, the, the city of Greeley doesn't pay for the program, residents pay for it, but it pools residents together. And through that pooling, you can jump on, apply to have your tree treated. Um, we'll send an applicator out to the property to treat the tree. You pay us, we pay them. And uh, we essentially just manage the program, but by having that pool with a number of applicants in it allows for a bit better pricing and in having a number of trees treated throughout the community eventually when that insect does show up and we we discover it here it's going to help slow down the damage done to Greeley's tree canopy if we have a number of trees treated. Yes well and that's really important because we're a city known for trees so we love our shade and and that's a good thing. You bet. Yes. So Another quick program I want to point out is uh, our Share the Shade program. So that's how residents can, can get trees replanted. So you can get a new tree for up to $50. $50. If you help us plant trees, you get them for free. So tap into our website, greeleygov.com slash forestry, and you'll learn about Emerald Ash Borer and our Share the Shade program. Shiloh, thanks for joining us today. Those are some great program tips and learning a little bit more about how to care for the things growing on your property. So. You can learn more about this at greeleygov.com forestry. Go there for more information.